Hey guys, my name is Daniel Matthews. I'm the content director at Dashclicks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the importance of schema validation and also just kind of highlight on how you can actually fix schema validation errors. So let's just jump right into this video. What are schema validation? So when you go on Google and type in anything and you see a search result, you're gonna see the title, which usually shows up in blue. And right below, you're gonna see like information. You might see reviews like stars, you might see links, you might see a description. That general area is your schema validation. That basically is really important. And Google has said that it can increase your click through rate up to 30% if you set up your schema validation correctly. So if you have errors in your schema validation and things aren't showing up correctly, you really want to take the time to fix that because that is such a valuable part of not just ranking, but actually getting people to click through to your site, which is really what you want when you're ranking in SEO. So let me jump into just a couple ideas how to fix this. So typically when you build a website these days, your site's going to be built on a, a platform that is really doesn't need a lot of coding. So it's user friendly. You're probably using WordPress or Spotify. I mean, not Spotify, uh, Shopify or, you know, WooCommerce or there's tons of other ones like, uh, Squarespace, the list goes on. And so a lot of them either have app add-ons. So if you need to look at your schema validation to make sure that's set up right, because you don't want to miss out on any clicks, you can download an app like Yoast SEO, and it'll actually run through everything. And you can just add the correct schema to make sure it matches. And that's like the right product um, reviews, the right descriptions, that sort of thing. Um, you can also use things like schema.org. So you can go check that out, that resource out, but just know that when you're using your website, you're pretty much having your site built on like a common platform that pretty much is accessible and designed to make things easy. So, um, when you're updating or trying to fix your schema, you're going to be able to, you're most of the time, I mean, sometimes not, but most of the time you're going to be working with a platform where they have this set up so you can make sure you go into your back end and make sure you have all your SEO and your meta tags and all this stuff set. And you know, like I said before, if you have Yoast SEO, it kind of walks you through everything anyways. So that when you show up on Google, you can make sure you have all the right info um, and really just increase your chances of getting that person to click. So just to wrap this up, um, if you're having any schema validation issues, but maybe you're not even sure, just, I would recommend going to like Yoast SEO, go to schema.org, um, go into the back end of your website and they usually have like SEO tabs. And from there you can kind of go in and see if there's any options for schema validation or anything like that. I um, mean, if you go through Yoast SEO, that'll help you as well too. But, and then what I want to touch on last in this final part is your schema validation is that text descriptor below the blue header of your Google search results. So the header is really important, kind of catches and grabs their attention, but to give them just a bit more context and a bit more credibility and validation, schema validation, to actually click through, and Google has said you could increase up to 30% if you've done right, um, together really adds just a powerhouse where you can really just get some results going for your business. So if you have schema issues, highly recommend fixing it because you're missing out on clicks. Or if you didn't even know what schema was, I'd recommend going into the back end of your website. Um, you could also check the blog that's attached to this video and it'll go a little bit more in depth on how to fix those issues if you are having any issues. All right guys, hope you got some value out of this and I'll see you in the next video.